In fact, more than a million acres of farmland has gone out of production in the Old Dominion over the past 20 years, according to the U.S. Census of Agriculture. And about half of that came between 2002 and 2007, as economic development boomed and thousands of farmers retired. According to the Natural Resources Inventory and the American Farmland Trust, several parts of Virginia saw significant development pressure in recent years. They include Frederick, Loudoun, and Shenandoah counties, the areas all along Interstate 95 corridor, and parts of Floyd, Patrick, and Henry counties along the southern portions of Pennsylvania and Halifax counties. Many of these areas have prime farmland as well as scenic views, and the new homeowners are literally crowding out farmers. That's why the Virginia Farm Bureau is urging rural localities to plan for growth if they want to retain some rural character in agriculture. A subdivision that moves in next to a dairy farm really won't appreciate the fact that that dairy farmer is getting up at four in the morning and milking the cows and um, you're going to have tension and pressure. So it's important that a county identify the areas where they want to keep agriculture, keep forestry, and um, plan that correctly. Reem says many farmers adapt as growth comes, switching from large-scale agriculture to smaller operations that can supply fresh food to local populations. But because most of those businesses are small, they still cannot grow so a lot of money. And many times the agricultural economy dies out. I'm Norm Hyde reporting.